Hello everyone, how are you? It's Kay. So uh, this is the 12th of May 2022 and this is on Thursday. So how are you everyone? Great to see you again. And I hope you're doing well today. So uh, yeah, let's check some charts now and see what's happening. Looks like today was, today was a very rough. Today was a very... Uh, Aggressive market. Euro was going down. JPY is currently going up. Bullish. So uh, we have some active markets today in Forex. So let's check some charts together with the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo as usual and um, see what's happening. Okay, and uh, actually, I woke up very early morning today and I didn't take a nap. So let me see. How long I can go on the live. As long as I keep talking, I will keep doing this today. So let, let me start. Uh, it may for maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but we'll see. Let me see how far I can go. All right, so let me switch the screen. Okay, so um, as usual, before starting the live, um, this basically knowledge is uh, all based on my experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, since this is live, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. And recently, there are so many fake accounts of my using my name and creating these fake accounts in Telegram, Instagram, Facebook, or direct messages. So please be careful. Okay, so let's see what's happening. So markets are rough today. So uh, I will first take the strength chart. So let me switch to the strength chart. And right now, I can see that the JPY, the light blue is JPY. JPY is quite strong. So all the JPY pairs are going down basically. And um, AUD has been weak. And Euro has also been weak. So uh, we have some active markets on Euro JPY and AUD JPY. So first, I will look into these two markets. And then look at other markets as well. All right. So yeah, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you here. I can see uh, lots of... Uh, People here too also, Carbon, New Tech, Arnold, Arkady, Asif, Swarosh, and Mike, Nicholas on my way, George, Daniel, Austin, Howao, William, and Ronald, Stefan, sorry Stefano, good to see you, Alex also, thank you for joining, and Yara, good to see you too, all right, Alfonso, Faiz, Okud, Daniel, Theros, Com, KOM, The Wise, Dan, good to see you. All right, so yeah, first let me check AUD JPY and Euro JPY. So let me switch to the trading view. And here is AUD JPY. So this is a daily time frame. So today was bearish, and uh, the market reached down to the single span B of the daily time frame. So that's what we can find. So from here, the May bounce and goes up but if the market breaks the single span b on the daily chart then it may continue to go down because this was the sank gakuten signal so we'll see which way it goes that's as per the daily time frame and this was actually also the breakout of the y wave there was a y wave support like this but today this Y wave has also been broken. This was also significant in price action. So uh, before, because before it was expanding like this, but after this Y wave breakout and also Doji, two days back there was a Doji, and Doji has been broken bearish. Um, from technical viewpoint, also this is not bearish. Yeah, so that's the AUD JPY. So you can follow downtrend, you can wait for the Kuma breakout and sell when it happens from tomorrow, possibly. 
So that's the AUD JPY. And then um, let's see. So Euro JPY is the second strongest downtrending pair right now. So here is Euro JPY. Euro JPY was not the Y wave, but it was more of head and shoulders. And the neckline has been broken bearish. The neckline was 134.25 and it broke. And it's going back to the Kumo now. So, um, yeah, so it's into Kumo now. So within the Kumo, the market can be spiky. So um, to be safer, um, you want to wait until the market breaks Kumo to prepare sell. And this may happen tomorrow or sometime next week. But uh, one thing for sure is, again, the fact that the market broke the neckline of the head and shoulders, I think this is can, this can be a sign for the new downtrend. It may pull back to 134.25, but maybe resist it and continue to go down also. So looks like market is turning from bullish to bearish on the Euro JPY also. So yeah, so that's the two markets that I wanted to talk today so let me check some other markets also let's see i see um two comments about aud usd so let me check aud usd so here is the daily time frame aud usd and this is bearish obviously the kumo is down senko span b down a down and kijun sen is down tenkan sen is also down Chikou span below candles and also yesterday that was a pin bar and the day before was a doji so um, I think today's breakout was significant yeah this is significant break of um, 0 0.6908 and price looks to be going down right now so just in case we have to check if there's a support nearby on the weekly or monthly chart so let's see as per the weekly time frame the previous support was here um yeah so the previous support was here on um 0 0.6777 so the market may go down to that level so that's the potential target initial target in this downtrend but yeah this is nice weekly is also now going down kumo down kijun sen down tenkan sen down chikou span below candles yeah this is nice and daily is down so we can look for the sell chance right now yeah so we have lots of trending pairs right now all right thank you for joining everybody great to see you um let me check if i have time cycles on this one um okay yeah looks like time cycles i don't have it right now but uh yeah it's been reversed in the waves uh, uh since uh 5th of april this year and the market broke the kumo it tested the kumo before but resisted by the single spam b and it's going down so i think this is this is stable downtrend that we can follow okay all right good to see you thank you for joining yeah daniel says i i tried to sell position on AUDJPY from 88.456 yeah so the price is at the daily single spam b right now yeah so it may reverse so if it reverse you better look for exit timing is my idea all right, Dan says, uh, Hi, Mr. K. I mainly trade oil and natural gas, but I have improved a lot by watching your videos. Oh, great to see that. Great to hear your comment. So, yeah, just keep improving your trades. Keep practicing it so that you can success in the long run. So let me check some other JPY pairs. So let me first check the USD JPY. So, so far, we have covered the Euro JPY and also 
AUDJPY, and also AUDUSD we covered. So now let me cover USDJPY. So this pair is retracing backwards also because of the strong JPY today, and it's reaching back to the Kijun Sen in the daily time frame. So once the market touches Kijun Sen, then it may bounce. So looks like the target is met, and this is not a good timing to sell. Um, if you can wait for the Kijun Sen break, I think that will be good. So actually, I was drawing a trend line. And I was expecting the market bounces on the trend line and goes up. And also Tenkan Sen yesterday, but looks like today it broke clearly and it's going retracing now. It broke also the previous support. So this is now, it may reverse backwards continuously. So yeah, USDJPY has been, um, has been up for the last, ever since uh, 4th of March. It has been up about two months, and now it's retracing backwards. So finally, it's retracing. I think uh, this uptrend was so big. So I guess it's time for the market to breathe. So let me see if I have time cycles on this one. Yeah, I do. So um, the previous high was marked on the 28th of March, and I have projected next high will be around 5th of May and looks like it happened there was a two touches here on the 28th of April and also 9th of May so I would say 5th of May was very close to these two dates and then it retracing backwards so it may retrace backwards continuously but as for the swing low this is the Henkabi here so Henkabi is here, 26 bars, but it may extend to 33, which is the next Kihon Suchi. So 33 will be here, 16th May. So we can monitor until 16th to see if the market reverses backwards or not. So that will be the new Henkabi for the highs, for, for the lows. For the high, sorry, it was, uh, Henkabi was 11th of May. I said it's uh, 9th of May, but it was for the low. But for the high, the, the projection was on the 11th of May. And it looks like now it's going backwards. So, yeah, it may range um, until the end of this week or next week. So, yeah, we have to carefully monitor the chart. In terms of the price action, I have been saying that this is engulfing candle. The candlestick on the 28th of April high and low has been including the future candles. And I was waiting for the breakout bullish to buy towards major direction, but now it's retracing backwards. So it looks like market is breaking the support so if today's close price becomes below 128.34, then from tomorrow and next week, it may continuously be bearish. So we can follow the full hour or the lower time frames if it happens. But uh, yeah, this is where I have to also hold. We have to, we can't really touch because it's just retracing. And when it retraces like this after long trends, the market may become tricky. In spiky because there are still fight between long-term buyers and short-term sellers so we have to be a stay away we have to stay away and uh, check some other trending stably trending pairs is my view so uh, yeah so let me check some other uh, pairs now so let me quickly screen euro USD broke the support also so I think this is also something to talk about. Yeah, it broke the support of uh, 1.0473 because of the weak euro today. It's going down. So like I mentioned before, last time there was a Tenkan Sen bounce. So I was expecting this time it will be resisted by the Tenkan Sen and it's going down. 
and looks like it happens just now. So today was a day that broke the, that the market broke that support and now it's going down. So in this case, once again, we have to check if there's a major support in this area. Uh, okay, so the next support will be down here on 0 point, sorry, 1.0341. So that will be a potential target. And we have still a room to trade in pips wise about uh, 68 pips. So it's not really big, 68 pips. So the market may reverse before the price reaches that level. So we have to be careful for the retracement if you're setting the Euro USD so far. So that's that. Euro pound has been ranging right now on the weekly. Uh, daily chart is bullish, but today is retracing. So no chance. This is the outside bar, which has been including the previous three candles. So we have to wait for the breakout or the resistance 0 0.8618 and prepare to buy. Yeah, let's see. USCCAD is now flat in the daily chart. USCC's run broke the high. So, yeah, USCC's run is also bullish now. Yeah, looks like we have some active markets. Pound USD is going down also, broke the support. Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. So, this is a nicely bearish market. The next support is 1.2063 or exact to be exact that will be 1.2072 is the next support next target if it remains bearish okay so let me check some uh, other charts let me check uh let's see um gold xaUUSD Okay, and here is the daily chart, and this is still bearish. Kumo is down. Kijun Sen is flat, but the price is below the Tenkan Sen. Tenkan Sen is pointing down, and Chikou Span below candles, so this is bearish. Yeah, the market was resisted by the Tenkan Sen previously, so it may be traced backwards to Tenkan Sen, but resisted by the Tenkan Sen and continuously go down is my perspective so if you are looking to trade gold sell will be the right call after the neckline break the market has been bearish yep and let's see WTI oil is now ranged it's pure range so no chance to trade right now yeah we can't really tell which way it goes Kumo is flat well, Senko Span A is bullish. Senko Span A is upper part, but this is, um, yeah, this is now, oh, sorry, this is actually Senko Span B, right? Yeah, this is Senko Span B, and this is Senko Span A still, but uh, this Kumo is flat, so uh, no chance. Kijun Sen flat, and Chiko Span still too close with the previous candles, so no trading edges. Yeah, no, no movements in the market. And I know there are a couple of uh, crypto traders. So let me check the Bitcoin also. So cryptos, BTC, USD, it has been bearish. Yep, so it broke the support and it keeps going down this way. So Kumo is down. Kumo has been down. Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen also down. And Chikou Span below candles. So it's bearish. And it looks like it broke the major support here at um, 28.681 level. And it just keeps going down. So sell will be the right call. Yeah, we can't tell how far the market may go bearish. But uh, if you're still holding sell, then no reason to exit. You can still trail the profits as you keep holding the sell position. That's a Bitcoin. 
Looks like all the cryptocurrencies are bearish. Yeah, I see all the red marks. So looks like all the cryptos are going down today. Okay, so yeah, let me come back to Forex and let me hear some comments also. Okay, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining as well. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the live today, um, yeah, yesterday I wasn't able to sleep well. Well, actually today I woke up very early in the morning. So I'm not sure how far I can do the live. Maybe I will. I might end in about 10 minutes or so. Today might be a bit shorter live. So, uh, but I hope you enjoy today's live stream also. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Euro getting hit from everywhere. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, in terms of the best setup today, as for the best setup, that would be um, JPY and CAD. This is most volatile market. So yeah, AUD JPY to sell will be the best one to trade today. In terms of the strength chart. And then let me check the Kumo situation. Um, daily chart Kumo is again still bullish but it's retracing so it may not the best one in terms of the Ichimoku confirmations so as for Ichimoku yes AUD USD is good it has been stable Kumo is not too thin this is nice it's stable downtrend and then pound USD is also good I think pound USD has thicker Kumo than AUD USD so this one it looks better than AUD USD. So so far, pound USD is the best to trade. And then let's see, USD Swiss franc also good. Kumo is gaining thickness, so it's nice. That means the market has been stably bullish in long term. But since this is Swiss franc, it may turn backwards anytime. You know, sometimes Swiss franc pairs can be tricky. You may have some you may see long wicks spikes up and down. So in that sense, Swiss from pair may not the one. Although Kumo looks good. So so far pound USD looks the best. And then Euro USD was also good. It just broke the support also. So yeah, Euro USD Kumo looks also good. And I like about this market because it broke the support of the previous range for about two weeks and i think this is significant um if you look at the pound usd um there were a few doji candles and it has been broken bearish but as compared to the range range uh days euro usd was longer longer range on the candles so i think in terms of the breakout and Kumo, I think Euro USD looks the best. And then Pound USD is the second best. Yeah, I think that's my view. So if I were to sell newly, then I will look into Euro USD and Pound USD for some opportunities. Okay. For the wise ninja thank you for your reminder to hit the like button so if you liked it so far please press the like button before you leave that would be great so that it keep me, keeps me going okay um maximilian says um should i ride the short train on uscjpy it broke one hour kumo but bullish on a four hour kumo let me see. USDJPY. 4 hour Kumo is bearish also. 4 hours is bearish. Um, in 1 hour should be bearish too. Yeah, 1 hour bearish. 4 hour is also bearish. So you can sell, but um, I don't recommend it because Kumo is too thin in a 4 hour. Whenever you see the thin Kumo like this, this means that the market is overheating, overshooting 
in this case oversold so it may pull back and once it pulls back it goes very fast so you have to be careful for the retracement in fact right now we have doji in the four hour or pin bar so once it closes like this and um, the market may go up afterwards we trace back to kumo so for me i don't feel positive to sell usdjpy in this case yeah looks like jpy is going bearish so looks like it's going up right now but it says hey yesterday you showed price action on the daily chart but how do you take trades on lower time frames uh, basically I do the same when whatever time frames look at I look at the price action in the same way so yeah simply I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo from higher time frames down to the 30 minute and for the lower time frames like a 5 minute or 15 minute time frames I use other tools like price actions and the bondage bands and stochastics and so on to get the right entry edges and also exit timing so in terms of the trend follow i do this in a swing or day trade because i follow either daily or four hour trends but when it comes to exit with a loss after the entry before price hit the stop loss that will be more like scalping way And that gives me automatically a high risk and reward ratio. Okay, Stefano says, can we have a check about current Euro CIS run? All right, let me check Euro CIS run. Okay, first check in the daily time frame. All right, daily has been retracing backwards now to Tenkan Sen and also the previous resistance. <clears throat> Sorry, previous resistance here so it may bounce and goes up is my first view and then um let's see yeah so it's retracing so no chance to trade for me um let me check the weekly a weekly is also in between kijun sen and kumo so i think this market is not tradable but in the long term i think this is bullish because it broke the resistance and above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo, and Chikou span above candles. So it's bullish. It may be supported at 1.0403 and goes up continuously. But if the market breaks a level, then it may retrace back to Kijun Sen or Senko span B. So you can't really trade in that case. The market may be choppy until the market reaches back to these two levels yeah yeah let's see yeah looks like all the cryptos are going down right now yeah so personally i never trade cryptos so i have no idea what's happening behind but all i can say is cryptos are bearish so if you can sell, that will be the right call. If they were the Forex, then I would prepare to sell a couple of days ago. Okay, Ronald says, uh, I have two questions. One, if you use big long candle when you try to look for sell chance, what action do you usually do? I simply go down to the lower time frames like 1 hour or 30 or even break it down to the 5 minute to get the entry chance number two if we're looking for sell chance but when we see stochastics is in oversold level is it okay to still look for entry level yes it is okay because if you see stochastics oversold in the five minute you have to know that that's happening in the five minute and if higher time frames are going down strongly like daily charts is going down four hours going down one hour is also going down then five minute will be kept oversold because it's a lower time frame but still it's okay because in terms of higher time frames it may not so be oversold so you have to remember 
which time frame you are following, then you should be fine. But the below 20 level, you, the stochastics may be crossing or maybe the, the lines are, two lines may be over, overlapping and you may not be able to confirm the cross signals below 20 level or above 80 level. So if the cross are not confirmed, then um, you shouldn't take that uh, confirmation to trade. Okay, okay, let's see. Maximilian says uh, stochastics may show trend continuity unless bounce back to 20 followed by moving average. Reversal may not happen yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Pound JPY. Okay, pound JPY in the daily time frame. Let me see. Okay, it broke the Kumo. Tenko span B, and we had the Tenkan Kijun dead cross, Chikou span break, and today Kumo breakout happened. So this is bearish. This was also the neckline break of head and shoulders. Neckline was technically here, 159.07, and then it also broke the Tenko span B. So this is downtrend. It might continue to go down down to the support of uh, 151.04 so like in this example daily chart uh, has only one single bearish bar so if you only look at the daily time frame you, you don't know when, when to sell so that's why what I do is I break it down to the lower time frames to exact entry chance so I checked one hour, for example, and as for one hour, this is bearish. Kumo has been bearish going down. Kijun Sen is going down also, it's flat, but Tenkan Sen is going down. Chikou span below candles, so it's bearish. Yeah, so in this case, uh, probability wise, the market may be traced back to Tenkan Sen. But uh, most likely, it will be resisted by the Tenkan Sen and keep going down. The chance becomes higher in this case. That's the first thing you have to think about. Because there was a previous resistances on the Kijun Sen as on the Tenkan Sen in one hour chart. So with that in mind, you look for exact setting edge. And what I usually do is I go down to the five minute. And I use the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics. I don't use Ichimoku in the lower time frame because they may become fake. So I use other tools like Bollinger Bands, Stochastics, and the Price Actions to look for the sell chance. So I found one descending trend line bounce. And then uh, bounds are expanding, but normal band working. It's not really squeezing. Stochastic growth crossing. So in this case, I don't really sell. I wait until the market comes down this way and wait for the stochastic death cross and the bands may be squeezing a bit more or it may expand and go down this way. But uh, I will look for the entry confirmation like this in the five. And also I set a stop loss based on the five minute and expect the market continuously go bearish for its major direction. So that's basically how I break it down from higher to lower time frames or to, to entries on these markets. Yeah, but right now it looks like it's not really a good chance to sell. So simply I will stay away. Yeah, thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you. Good to see you here. Yeah, Saron says AUDCAD. Yeah, so AUDCAD, uh, let me see. Oh, I think we haven't checked this one yet. Yeah, AUDCAD looks also good. It's uh, bearish, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. Chikou Span below candles, Tenkan Sen is also down. 
there was a doji break there were there was a doji here and the, this doji has been broken bearish so this is this is showing the continuation of the downtrend in price action so the next target is 0 0.8907 which is very close so you may have to wait for the breakout of that level and look for sell chance afterwards is my view yeah i think uh so adcad um yeah this is near support so i will avoid and um so for example euro usd this is also kind of close to the support support all the way from from um december 2016 so 2016 december is a bit you know uh, way back so um yeah it may not affect that much this is uh like uh, six years ago so uh, it may not really affect the market the market may break through the support and keeps going down but um yeah yeah we have to it's it, i think it's better to be careful anyways but i like this range break in the uh, euro usd um even if it even if it retrace backwards it may be resisted and um continue to go down this way so yeah for me euro usd looks the best and then um and the usd is also good i like the kumo shape on this pair right yeah i think that these are my view on these so uh but it looks like uh yeah we have uh, many markets trending right now and you know so like this this is very interesting isn't it like uh we had some range market last week there was big new there were big news last week but we have some range the market goes backwards whenever the news happens last week it was choppy but uh and this week and un until yesterday the market has been retracing ranging but today suddenly the market starts to move we have lots and lots of pairs trending at the same time forex and this is this is the reality of the market so in the future don't get discouraged don't get discouraged even if you see range markets maybe two or three days because there will be a new trends there will be a new moves in the market always always so that's why patience becomes a key and you better know when not only when to trade but also when not to trade and when not to trade is more important than when to trade psychologically speaking because that's more difficult to control psychologically so uh yeah i guess i will end the live for now because uh, i'm sorry i i'm a bit uh i wasn't able to sleep last night well so i will end the live take a short break and then for Ichimoku members, I will see you in about 20 minutes. For those who are joining public, I will see you tomorrow. So, um, yeah, good luck on your trades. We have still today and tomorrow training days. And tomorrow we may see some trends also. So always get ready to trade whenever it happens. But if the trend doesn't happen, then always stay away is my advice. So, uh, yeah, see you soon, everyone. Thanks so much. And stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.